this this is a gynecological study of a Paris female aged 35 years. This is the urinary bladder. It is inadequately filled, and uh, this is a transabdominal ultrasound where we see the uterus mares approximately nine centimeters in length. Whereas I will not take the anterior posterior diameter. This is the uh, anterior wall, this is the frontal region, this is the fibroid, in fact, which is uh, pushing this endometrial canal, which is in the, uh, which is measuring approximately 9 point, rather 10 millimeters, and is in the almost mid-cycle, uh, or in early secretory phase. Now this eco uh, heterogeneous area, this one, in this section, is a fibroid with the posterior wall of the uterus that is pushing the endometrial canal medial. So this is the uterus, fundus, anterior wall, the cervix, the vagina. The And the area that has I underlined is the fibroid. The fibroid is has a worldly appearance. As you can see, the fibroid has a worldly appearance. And now, in this section, you can see that this is the unary bladder. This area defines the uh, uterus, and from where the lateral end of the endometrial canal can be seen, we see a fibroid that measures approximately 4.6 into. 2.6 into 4.6 centimeters. So <coughs> this is uh, a fibroid pushing the endometrial canal with normal anterior wall. It's a posterior wall. You can fibroid. This is the right ovary with follicular activity. These are the follicles. This is the right ovary. This minimal amount of fluid is suggestive of post ovulatory. Uh, fluid, this is a post ovulatory fluid, not pathological. Here you can see again that the fluid is seen in this region as well. In transfer section, this is the transfer section of the uterus. And uh, this is the longitudinal section. So this is a case study of a fibroid uh, with mass effect on the uh, endometrial canal, early secretory phase. Thank you very much.